Section 271C of the South African Constitution states that everyone has a right to have access to social security and appropriate social assistance, including and not limited to if they are unable to support themselves and their dependents. Social assistance is funded by government revenue. This is what is referred to as social grants to vulnerable children, the elderly, and those with disabilities, administered and distributed by the Department of Social Development through its agency, South African Social Security Agency, SASA. When we talk about social security, we mean basically all the interventions that government has in place in order to address poverty, income poverty of people in the country. That means, uh, from the definition that the Taylor Committee gave us in 2002, that we, we, we not only alleviate poverty in the form of social grants, but we also try to prevent poverty through creating mechanisms for people to actually save ahead of time for themselves through institutions such as the Unemployment Insurance Fund, the Compensation Fund for Occupational Injuries and Diseases, and also the Road Accident Fund. So when we talk social security, it's not only grants. There are three elements to it. It's the social grants, which is the social assistance uh, program funded by government through general taxes. And then there's contributions that people make through uh, funds that are established in legislation such as, the, such as the Unemployment Insurance Fund, the Compensation Fund and the Road Accident Fund. Those are mandatory funds to which people contribute. Currently, the department spends about 3.5 billion rands per month, providing support to about 10.5 million people. The Department of Social Development writes the policy on the different kinds of grants. The primary focus of those ones is for people who are vulnerable in the country. We have social grants for children from the age zero all the way up to age 18, children who, are, who come from poor families. Uh, so the department has those child support grants. We also have foster child grants for children who have lost a parent, who are, who are living with people who are not their biological parents. So the foster child grant is another kind of grant that we give. The other grant is the disability grant for persons with disability. We provide disability grants for children and also for adults. And the disability grant is also given on a temporary basis, but also we have the permanent one for people with permanent uh, disability. Then we have the older persons grant, which is the one that is the most famous, the, the one that the, the Gogos go in queue for. That's the old age grant. We visited Gogo Mildred Mtlalose, a 95-year-old pensioner living in Soweto. Gogo Mildred is a recipient of the social grant meant for the elderly. Me na umilu tretu ndi alose, mshalezo ndi 689. Me ahola. Ikira ndi gawani. Ewa, kwe mkotu ni wema ndi kutu. 1,800. Le kira ndi le ngizikidi iswa hiyo unawa mtena bantu hana. Hiyo esi mkidi isa mwini. Bata ale, oke esi. Catufilocon in 2020, the unthinkable happened. The National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown. To reach the most vulnerable families in our country, we have decided on a temporary six-month coronavirus grant. So the COVID-19 grant, that the SRG grant that was introduced, was intended to support people of working age who did not have any means of supporting themselves during the period. So it was given to South Africans but because there were also people in the country who are non-South Africans, 
who are asylum seekers and those who are from Zimbabwe and, and, and Lesotho who are permitted to be in the country. They have special permits to be in the country. They were also included because they were also in the same situation of not being able to work and not being able to uh, survive without the, some sort of income support. So they were added to the beneficiaries that would access the 350 grants. So basically those who were legally in the country at that time and could not work for themselves. They are also included in that 350 grant allocation. Initially, um, the allocation that was given was for around 6 million people. But then, uh, because COVID got extended, the, the grant was given from, from April up until October of 2020. Then, because COVID uh, went on for much longer than we thought, and the lockdown also went on for much longer than we thought, a decision was taken to extend the provision of the grant. Um, all the way up to April again of 2021. So after that, it became clear that because of COVID and its impact on the economy, the unemployment rates were continuing to grow and poverty levels were continuing to grow. Cost of living and cost of food was getting higher. So there was a much greater risk of people really falling into hunger. And so the decision was taken to extend the grant even further. So now the grant, this 350 grant has been extended all the way up to uh, the end of the financial year now, March 2022. That's when the grant will be uh, concluded in order to continue to provide the, the, support, the, the support that people continue to need.